I now have the honor and duty of introducing you to a totally new feature in Second Life Viewer 2. Let's have a look. All right, so it looks like a web page. There's no trickery here. You may be familiar with Parso Media from before. You can view web page, video, other media. Oh, but look, what can we do? We can actually interact with it. I just clicked here and now I can type into a form like that. But that's not all. As I go over to this side, you'll see there's another web page and watch as this media control changes. Let me come over this way. And there we go. It reflects to show the current URL. That's right there. Of course, I can navigate around. So how is this possible? There is a different web page on each face so far, and it's continuing to load. And there's another one on this face. What we have here is the culmination of earlier work, which you may have fabledly heard, <laughs> if that's such a word, as web on a prim. We call it shared media in Second Life. Second Life shared media. It means on a per face instance, you can show web pages. You can browse, shared browsing with friends. Ooh, what's this? Could it be YouTube in Second Life? How many wishes have I heard that that fulfills? Mm. <laughs> to prove you this isn't some faker holicism, <laughs> I will go ahead and click on this link and show you a flash video on YouTube playing right there. Of course, it's interactive. If you want, you can scrub ahead. Yeah, epic. <laughs> I'm sure some of you have a most delightful follow up question. That being, does that mean that other interactive flash media such as games, control panels and so on? Will they also work with Second Life shared media? And the resounding answer is yes. I'm going to show Cannibalt, the popular Flash game, and we very much look forward to seeing what you do with Second Life shared media to explore the possibilities. Look at this, a new angle of play. Oh, I better jump. Oh, crap. There we go. <laughs> We're on the run. Now, after all that excitement, you may be righteously wondering, how do you get started doing something like that? Well, it's really simple. If you can right click and you can build and then you would res a prim. Now, notice under the texture tab, there are new controls for media. Let's go ahead and select a single face. So I'm going to select just the top face and I'm going to zoom in like that so you can see. Now click the plus button, which is a familiar convention to add various things across the interface and then enter in a home page, in this case, secondlife.com. There's other options you can customize. Be sure to click the question mark on each tab for help. It's there for you. And then we can just go ahead and OK that. It's a quick and fun example. And there it is, a web page ready to be shown off. And in many cases, you want to make it full bright so it's neutral tinted as well. If you have various concerns and you would rather not play nearby media, of course you have control over that as well. Notice this and then what you can do, you can less if you want to show less more to show the whole list. If there's many web pages and such, you can stop it to disable it and it goes blank like that. And here are other handy options. And yes, the inevitable does come up. This means that you can be a real max headroom type and show media on your face and let others browse your wares. <laughs>